Carroll Consolidated School Corporation paid about $6,000 worth of negative school lunch accounts last year. And despite changes made to the lunch charging policy, the superintendent says it's still a problem. News 18 Samantha Tiki reports how the corporation is working to make sure it doesn't have to eat the unpaid balance this year. Unpaid lunch accounts are nothing new to the Carroll Consolidated School Corporation, but Superintendent Christopher Lagoni says the negative accounts are continuing to be a problem. At the end of the year, the amount owed is getting higher and higher. Lagoni says the corporation used to pay off the negative balance using the food service fund, but in order to meet federal school lunch requirements, he says it's a debt they can no longer afford. In an attempt to decrease the debt, changes were made to the lunch policy to limit charging for things like a la carte items. We were really hoping to see some improvement this year, and we just have seen some of the repeats of the same problems from before. Lagoni says as of right now, the total amount of unpaid accounts is between three to $4,000. He says if that trend continues, students with unpaid accounts may have to choose an alternative option for lunch. You know, we may have to go back to the old days of... Uh, cheese sandwich or, or peanut butter. Lagoni says it hasn't gotten to that point yet and the corporation is doing all it can to encourage parents to pay the negative balances. We've talked about it at a couple meetings and we're doing letters and phone calls and emails and trying to make sure people are aware of when they owe and how much they owe. The corporation is also doing its part to educate parents about the free and reduced lunch program and how to apply if they qualify. Lagoni says payment plans are also an option and wants to assure parents that no matter the balance, no child will go hungry. You can't have a successful day learning if your stomach hurts because you're hungry. Reporting in Carroll County, Samantha Tiki, News 18.